Hello, hi there, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for May 6th, 7th, and 8th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, I am going to be using for the main reading, which this is just the introduction. You will hear this on all the signs. So go to the um, timestamp, and that should get you to the main readings, okay? Timestamps are in the description below. Anyway, when I am doing the main reading, when I am reading for the main readings, I will be using my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. I'll use my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards, and I will pull one of my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, for this introduction, I am going to be using my Weight Rider Traditional Tarot and my Colette Baron Reed The Good Tarot. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job is just to deliver the message. Okay? Try not to filter too much of myself into it, but we will do what we can do with this. So... Let's see what we have going on. Let me go on to my little, um, what's going on in the, just the world itself. So, um, okay, May 5th, we did talk about that. There's a lot of chatter about energies with May 5th, and that makes sense because we have Taurus conjuncting with Uranus, and we are in Taurus, and Uranus is also in Taurus. So we have a lot of this, uh, you know, Taurus is very grounded energy, very much the home energy, but Uranus is expect the unexpected energy. And now they're conjuncting, so they're not necessarily working together, okay? So that's the fifth. A lot of chatter going on with that. The 7th of May, we do have uh, Taurus again, um, sextiling with Mars, which is in Pisces. And the thing that is interesting is sextiling is kind of like getting together. Not a lot of energy going on, but it's not bad energy either. And Mars is the, you know, is Aries, god of war, god of uh, just, you know, let's put it that way, just of war. Pisces, dreamy. So we've got something going on, not quite anything really defined. There is some chatter that the energies on the 7th will be high too, but not enough that I can really relate that for you. The 5th. The fifth, yeah, yeah, the fifth, definitely. Taurus, Uranus, okay. And then, of course, we go to the tenth, where Jupiter goes into Aries. I've been talking about that. We'll talk about it again. Um, when we get closer, Mercury goes retrograde on the tenth in Gemini. So, interesting, things might be revisited. We do go up to the fifteenth. We have some stuff going on, but then the sixteenth is where... We have our full moon in Scorpio. It is going to be a lunar eclipse, so that gives some more energy to that. Scorpio does not like secrets. So, you know, Scorpio likes to keep their own secrets, does not necessarily like other secrets. However, it, there's, this is what I thought was really interesting, and again, we'll talk as we get closer. Um, Scorpio will trine with Mars, which is in Pisces and Neptune, which is also in Pisces, and they're all at 20, well, the uh, Neptune, Scorpio is at 25 degrees, and Mars is at 23, so there should be some good energy with that. It is, though, going to be squaring, squaring off with Saturn, 25 degrees, which is an Aquarius, and I told you that, um, you know, Saturn is always that one, you know, uh, Saturn in Aquarius is illusions versus reality, and Scorpio does not like secrets. So what's going to happen on that uh, 15th, 16th, really more the 16th? We will see what we will see. Anyway, let's go on and see what we have with our, just our general what's going on in the universe type of uh, reading. One, two, three. Three cards, all of them are face down. Anything that's reversed has a little stronger energy. That's how I read them. And numbers have meaning, so pay attention to the numbers, especially when it comes to your individual readings. Take a moment also to you know do your um, your natal chart so that you know your ascending, rising, moon, Venus, Mars, Jupiter. Okay, let's see what we've got going here. First card is 
the Hierophant, the Hierophant. Okay, we have a five energy here. Five is about change, positive, negative, doesn't matter. Change is change is change. Now, some people look at the Hierophant and say, oh, it's your higher self. I do not do that. To me, the Hierophant is is um, basically government, is basically um, the business of religion. It's a ruling, it's a ruling energy here. And it's one that um, really tries to control and tries to direct and tells you to follow the rules. The, when I see the Hierophant, I'm like, and, and well, maybe let's go this way. Let's go this way. But the Hierophant to me has a very, um, you know, it's a very strong follow the rules, do as I say type of energy. Now, what I'm saying with this one, though, is oh, let's be very, very careful when we see this energy. It's not necessarily that we just fall right in alignment with it. We have to question. We have free will, but we also have very, we're very smart uh, energies, and we also follow the light. The light is within us. We are light workers. So really, whenever I see this energy, I'm always question. Question what you're hearing. My husband says, um, don't believe anything you hear and maybe one-fourth of what you see, okay? Question, question, question. And many times when I see this, it's kind of like, and what's the opposite? Because that to me is where I might want, I want, I might want to believe what's the opposite than this card. I know, you might know, but the people who have been following me know that this one is not my uh, favorite. But we have to go through this. We have to look at this. Because sometimes, you know, I mean, sometimes the reality is so, is, is, is just, the reality is so harsh that um, we have to look at it and just, ex instead of just accepting what we're being told. Okay? Okay. And again, we're not quite there yet, but remember that 16th um, Saturn with an Aquarius against the full moon in Scorpio. So there could be a lot of things coming out in that type of energy. Again, this has uh, the business of religion. This is the business of government. This is really a very controlling tri type of energy here. And it's usually, let's, uh, you know, if somebody says this is how to go, look for alternative um, options, alternative answers. Let's go on. Next card. The star. The star energy. So now we go from a 5 to a 17. We have that 7 energy, which is very divine energy. It's very, um, you know, the divine umbrella. I love the divine umbrella of it. It protects us from ourselves in many ways. Um, it's basically divine intervention. Sometimes it's divine interference, but it's all, again, to protect us from ourselves. Sometimes we don't like it. So we have that 7 energy. We have the 10 plus the seven. So tens are transitional. One is a new beginning. Zero is God's source energy. Add the one and seven together. It becomes an eight. Unlimited opportunity. Unlimited possibilities. Now the thing about the star, the star is trying to create a balance. The star is also all about hope. The star, you know, now we do have it still. There are some literal alignments, a littler alignments going on. The next big alignment will be June 24th, just to throw that out there. Um, it's going to be a very large one, too. But anyway, things are growing. Things are getting more into place. The star, again, make a wish upon a star. Hope is with the star. So even though we might have this type of energy being very constricting, the star actually expands our mind, expands our beliefs, expands our, our um, sense of possibilities. Okay, so let's go on here. Okay, now this is reversed. Here it is an eight. Eight is, um, you know, again, what I said. Let's do that. That may, may be a little bit better. Eight is, again, unlimited opportunities, possibilities. Now, this is the fire sign. This is our wands or rods, as they like to call them. It is our Aries energy. Remember, on the 10th, which will be then what? How many days? Two days down. Um, Aries, I mean, Jupiter is going into Aries, so there is this really, you know, let's put things to work type of energy, a lot of our dreams. This is, you know, busy energy. This is fast energy, so something could be going on extremely fast this weekend. It might make us extremely busy. Um, you know, fire again, passionate, very burning, very determined energy. So something going on here. 
Um, you know, again, I am not saying that this is what brings us hope. I am saying this is what brings us hope. Watch, 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 pray, hope. It's going to be a very quick, whatever this is, it's going to be very quick, very, um, very quick. So you have to kind you have to be watching, you have to be on your toes, okay? Whatever it is. Here we go. Let's see. And again, this is universal energy going on. So let's see what we've got here. So five, one, seven, eight. See what we've got here with the, you know, I have to look. Colette, Baron, Reed. Here we go. We're just going to pull one card. And... Put that over there. Here we go. Ten of fire. Ten of fire. So again, we have that fire energy. We have that ten, which is transitioning. There is, again, the ten of fire, ten of rods, ten of wands. It has a lot of very busy energy. It is asking for divine ener divine help to maintain the energy. I mean, here she is. She's almost, you know, there's something that's burning here. There's things that are burning here. And at the same time, she's, she's basically keeping them all in motion right now. And so one thing, you know, it's kind of like, can you know, something has to burn up before it can move on. Something has to finish before we can move on. A lot of times with the other cards that I use, the Ten of Fire, Ten of, um, yeah, Ten of Fire is basically, you know, ask, you know, ask higher power, ask for help. These two, very busy time, this information, whatever's going on, very active. This is, it might almost seem too burdensome to us. It might seem too hard, you know, but we still have to move forward and we do need to ask for help. So we've got some really very interesting, you know, this guy, never like him. Hope, of course, wish upon a star. The eight of wands, very busy action time. And this is, it might just feel very hard on us. It might feel very... Um, it might be a weekend that we just feel very burdened with this, ask for help. We have to, um, it's just like we just need a little bit more to get through to where we need to be. Okay, anyway, we will start the readings in a moment, but please take a moment to go down here and like, share, subscribe on the, or subscribe, click on the bell for notifications, help keep the channel moving and growing. And thank you so much. I do have to thank um, the people that have been donating to the channel. I really do appreciate you doing that. So thank you very much. Okay, why don't we start our readings now? Hello, my Geminis. How are you? Interesting times. Um, you know, Mercury is in Gemini right now. So interesting energies, interesting communications. You are in the shadow of retrograde. You will be going into retro, or Mercury will be going into retrograde. Interesting times. Okay, let's see what we, oh, cards are already flipping. Oh, I like this. I like this. I like this. Queen of um, Earth and the Ace of Earth. Ace of Earth has new beginnings, new starts. Queen of Earth is enjoying what life gives her. Loves the luxury. But let's see what else higher power has for our, Geminis, there we go, that one, we do not know what that even says, but you have this earth energy, which is a lot Taurus energy right now, Capricorn, also Virgo, it's money, your job, your career, your home, now the queen, the queen's, on, and it's reverse. the queen's underlying energy is water energy, so that has a lot of caring and love to it, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, there's a lot of planets in Pisces right now, so there's a lot of things between Pisces and that earth energy, the, um, you have to remember that you know the water helps to nurture, soften the earth. Too much though floods, and but yet not enough dries and makes things very brittle. Okay, I don't know. We just kind of have to remember that it's going to be a fine balance. And yes, my my Gemini's, your twins need to be a little more balanced during this weekend in order to obtain these these blessings these lovely energies here so the queen of earth is really very much this loving kind person who wants to make sure that she is taken care of financially but also the people that she cares about loves is being taken care of financially so i'm kind of getting this little thing maybe if you're in management or this could even be somebody that helps you could be kind of a 
a feminine energy doesn't could be male or female, but a very nurturing energy that helps to mentor you. Somebody may be protecting, not protecting your job per se because you're not doing it right. No, that's not the case. But basically kind of going through maybe some budget cuts, budget things, and saying, no, this these these this department has to be let you know left alone. I'm kind of getting this very caring, let's make sure that they have their work to do um, type of energy with that. Don't I don't know what you know, I hope that nobody's going through budget cuts. I hope nobody is having that type of energy. But if you are, there is somebody that is very much watching over you and caring for you in that earthly realm. Now, this could also have to do the fact that, you know, because we're retrograding Mercury in your sign, there's a lot of, um, you know, there to me, there's a lot of Empress energy here that's also trying to give and protect. I'm getting this very strong give and protection. It could be you, my Gemini, but it could be someone who is around you that's doing the same thing for you. Anyway, thoughtful, creative, warm, and sensible. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Now, the interesting thing about it, if this is something to do with the job itself, then it's either that the job is going to be very, you know, it's going to, it's going to work its way through for you, or there's a new job or a new position or a new p possibility of income for you. Because that ace of earth, that one, is a new beginning, new start. This is something about money has to come in to you. Now, sometimes if there's budget cuts, they might be giving you a um, compensation package. I think, I think I said that for Libra a couple of uh, readings ago. I don't, I mean, it could be that. I don't really feel like that's the issue here, though. I feel like this is just money that comes in, um, maybe because they're doing their, maybe because they're doing their, um, their budget things. Um, you know, maybe they're going to say, well, in your position, no, but we're going to put you in this position. And with this position, you need to have a raise. You need to have more money coming in. So I do feel a very strong protective energy from the Queen of Earth. And it is protecting home and money and job and career. And because of this protection or interference or intervention, a new opportunity might present itself to you. Maybe you have somebody there that's going to actually, that's a mentor to you in a new business field also. I feel like her energy is very important for this Ace of Earth to take place. Okay, let me know my, my Geminis what that's about. The influx, I'm sorry, the inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. Your next card reversed, renewal. So now we have a one, two, zero, two is choices, crossroads. Do I go this way? Do I go that way? Do I come together? Zero is God's source energy, very powerful energy with this. This is Archangel Jeremiah. This is the judgment card. This is kind of like the weight and balances. You know, this is kind of like what was your intense tension when you were doing this. But this renewal, you know, this is also, you think of those souls that they're reaching up and they're saying, you know, they're in some ways they're praising, in some ways they're asking, some ways they're, you know, they're just kind of wanting to be with that, you know, with that next step. What is that next step? The renewal energy on this card, though, is basically saying yes. So whatever this is, it's moving you to another state, stage, another, maybe a state. But again, I, I think it goes back to this queen of earth, this, this um, feminine energy, this feminine mentorship that wants to get, you know, want, put, you know, it's going to help you get into a new job or a new career or mentor you in your, you know, mentor you or provide the money, maybe provide the backing. And the renewal actually starts a new life, starts a new new direction, a new chapter for you, okay? The renewal is kind of like, you know, just exactly what it's saying. It's like the passion returns, the, the zest for living, more energy to go after things, okay? So review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. So this is... 
there's you know but it goes back to this queen of earth she's very important to you this week my gemini's this and again it could be someone else it could be your energy in itself but it's again you know the queen of earth could be very motivating you it could be you know she could be motivating you to you know to make more money get a job go you know do whatever it is you need to do this and, or it could be somebody else saying you know come on gemini and i'll show you how to help i'll show you how to work this new money you know it's time let's go okay let's see what john holland has to say for you emotional withdrawal so interesting with this we have an eight unlimited opportunities possibilities this is um eight i would say this is eight of water emotional withdrawal so part of this is in order for things to happen you have to step back a little bit and let it happen you have to take your you know kind of like oh no i want to rush in i want to make it happen i want to do this i want that i want to make calls to these people you have to step back and let things happen with this Again, I would trust whatever and whoever this Queen of Earth energy is. Again, very much somebody that wants to make things good. There's something with this in here. Not to say that you withdraw from that energy at all, if that's your energy. But you, you, you can't care so much about the outcome. You can't just be like, you know, because they're going to sense it. If you're, if this is, you know, if, if you're at a, if you're at an interview, they're going to, you know, they're going to sense if you're hungry, you know, or if you're desperate. Let's put it this way. They're going to sense a desperate, the desperate energies that come from you. So you have to keep that in check. Uh, and you just have to say, no, we're going to go. We're going to go where we're going to go with it. You have to trust in this energy. Keep that other, that whatever that is, that desperate, I need this job. I need this job. Hold that in check. Okay. Emotional withdrawal with that. Anyway, and if this is even about a job, but again, that Queen of Earth is very, I mean, that one is a doer, is a do, make doer, shaker, whatever you want to say. And, and that energy wants to create something more for you. Again, could be someone else, could be you. Um, try not to get too connected. Try not to get too, um, I'm not saying not to get passionate about it, but don't, don't, don't just don't have that desperation okay okay let's go on and see what crystal or energy would be helpful for my gemini's let's see let's see here we go earth stay grounded a lot of validation there is about abundance fertility harvesting but also logic which, you know, so try not to let your heart rule you so much. I'm not saying not to listen to your intuition. But remember, wishful thinking and intuition are two different things. So something, this is just the one little check. Just kind of check. Okay? Okay. Anyway, my Geminis, there's good stuff. I mean, and that money and whoever that queen of earth is, I mean, her energy is wonderful and it's very positive for you also again it could be you could be someone else that wants to mentor you or help you okay my gemini's take a moment now do the like share subscribe click on the bell for notifications watch the whole darn old playlist as always though my gemini's please know that you are loved stay shining and be blessed bye-bye